It's a 1965 Glastron crest flight, and originally it looked like a normal Glastron. Uh, you know, it had a regular deck and side decks and back-to-back -back seats, that sort of thing, and a split windshield. Um, and I was going to restore it, but then there was so many cracks in the deck and some pretty bad damage, I decided to heck with it. Um, I, I've always wanted to build a little center console, so that's what I did. I just found that the Rybovich boats were so beautifully designed. You know, I, I first saw one of these pots, you know, 30 years ago and thought it was a really neat uh, way to mount the wheel, which is slightly aft of the, the console, so you have room to stand there, your feet don't bang into the console because it's hanging over the back. Um, so I, I just felt that from a, from a visual standpoint and a practicality standpoint, it was just a great design. The boat is named Sally, uh, which is a, my oldest sister, which lost her battle to cancer about 10 years ago. So that's why the boat is called uh, Sally, my sister, and it's painted Fighting Lady Yellow because she fought the cancer for many years. The performance of the boat is, is, is really pretty amazing. You can you know, crank the wheel pretty much hard over it anywhere from 20 to 25 knots and uh, it just banks beautifully and comes right around. I cruise at anywhere between uh, 20 and 25, uh, and depending on how much fuel I want to burn, and then top speed is, is uh, with one person about 30. One thing was I actually got to take my daughter to her wedding uh, in Sally, uh, so that was Sally's first uh, uh, official duty. I get a lot of comments about the stool. Um, I really wanted to, to do a nice leaning post, but uh, I spent so much money on the boat that I, I had to stop somewhere. And people really laugh about it, but the, it's, it's quite comfortable. It's just the right height, and, and I've never tipped it over, so I guess it'll work.